Welcome to Bioinformatics Expert. In this video, I want to show you how you can do a StringT analysis. StringT is a program with which you can identify new isoforms from RNA sequencing data sets, but you can also use it to quantify your results by calculating the TPM or FPKM values. Today we start with BAM files, which were created after alignment with HiSAT2. Please be aware that you run HiSAT2 with a DTA flag because this is a recommendation of HiSAT2 if you want to run StringT afterwards. The aligned SUM files were sorted and afterwards converted into BAM. And in these files, optical duplicates were detected and removed with the program PCAR. Please watch the video about differential gene expression to recapitulate these steps. With the BAM files, we now use StringT to detect new isoforms. Afterwards, we merge the output isoform tables with StringT merge. Then we run StringT again and calculate the TPM and FPKM values. And we also create output, which can be used with Balgone to run a differential gene expression analysis. Actually, this is then the fourth possibility to detect differentially expressed genes with bioinformatics tools online. We start StringT easily by clicking the button in the table. Now we have to select the BAM file, which we want to analyze. On the next page, we can now select if we want to use an own reference or if we want to use a reference provided by the program. In the first part, we skip it and use a provided reference. We can select it in the input table here. However, make sure that you use the same reference which was used for the alignment. The question if you want to find new isoforms, we answer with yes. However, files for Balgone we don't need right now. We will need them later. So now we answer this question with no. Now we are ready to start the analysis. Let's start also StringT for the other files. So I accelerate this step a little bit. And now we skip the waiting time until the analysis has finished. When we now go to one of the analysis output pages, we see the string T output files, a tab file and a GTF file. The tab file gives you an overview of the results. The GTF file, on the other hand, is a new created reference file. It not only contains information on the already known transcripts, but also on the new identified transcripts. As we run string T six times, we got six new reference files. It is now necessary to merge them to get a unique reference representing all the samples. We can do that with the program string T merge. In order to do that, we have to rename all the reference files because each string T run created a file with the same output name. After they were renamed, we can start StringT merge easily from the table. We now have to select all the reference files which we want to merge. So let's select all six. Also, we should add the human genome reference. However, we leave the other parameters as default. After the run has finished, we can go to the page and we see that we now have a merged GTF file. With that, we can now rerun StringT to get the TPM and FPKM values for all known, but also for the new transcripts and also get the input files for the Balgone differential gene expression analysis. 
After we have selected the BAM file, we now have to select the merged reference file. In the parameter table, select no on the first question and select yes on the second question because we need the files for the Balgone analysis. Now we can start the analysis and with the same parameters, we can also start the string runs for the other samples. Again, some fast forwarding. And now we skip the part where we wait for the analysis to finish. Now we can again open one of the analysis pages and we see the output of the string T runs now. Again, we see the GTF file and the tab file. However, we also see a tar file containing the Balgone input files for the sample. In contrast to the GTF files from the previous string T run, this GTF file now contains the merged information from all samples. We see the information of transcripts. We see, for example, the location of the exons. We also see that string D gave some of the transcripts a new ID, but we, but we also see that these correlate with already given IDs from the ensemble database. However, there are also transcripts which do not have an ensemble ID. That means those transcripts can be potential new transcripts in the sample set. Okay, now we did this part here, and now we can calculate with the results file the differential gene expression. However, before we start, we have to rename all the files because, as I said earlier, the output file names are always identical and depend only on the program which was used. Now we can start the Balgone run. Similar as in the differential gene expression analysis video, we first have to select the files which contain the results of the control samples. Now we have to select the files containing the treated samples. And now we just start the analysis by clicking this button. As output, text files were created, which contain the results of the differential gene expression analysis per gene, but also per transcript. That means a differential transcript expression analysis, so to say. With that, I want to finish the video and I thank you for watching it. I have shown you how you can do a string T analysis with the program Bioinformatic Tools Online. This also includes how to detect new isoforms and to calculate the differential gene or transcript expression with the output files. If you want to use bioinformatic tools online in your research or you just want to test it, then write me an email or visit my webpage.